sister. I'm sick of being an only child. And she has to be pretty and do all my chores and buy me stuff. <sighs> Fine, sweetheart. You know I always get you what you want. Hey, you! Hurry up with the mopping! You have to do all my laundry after two! Wait, what? No, I don't want to do your laundry. Your socks smell. Hey! I have sweaty feet. It's a condition. No wonder why no one adopted you! Hey, I'll get adopted one day. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, right. I should just kick you out. But I need someone to clean up around here. You're never leaving. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Hope everyone's okay. Um, excuse me. Where's the ballet? This place is trash. Hey, Aunt Brady, are you in charge around here? Yes, and you brats just crashed into my orphanage. Whatever. We're here to adopt a child. My little angel wants a sister. That one. Is this the only one you've got, though? Uh, yeah. She's the last one here. But you don't want her. She's annoying. Um, you realize I'm standing right here, don't you? Hmm, okay. Well, my daughter wants a sister. I'll we'll take her. Hey, kid, get your things. Let's get you out of this dump. Wait, seriously? I, I finally get to leave? I'm so excited. Bye! No! Who's gonna do my laundry now? Oh my gosh, this is your house? I know, right? I think it's small. And we could use another swimming pool, Mom. Now come inside. Let's show you to your room. So, what do you think? Oh, um, a little small and dirty. <laughs> well, duh, we have bigger rooms, just not you. Mom, this is boring. I'm hungry. Food sounds amazing. I'm hungry, too. You should make us dinner. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? I used to cook at the orphanage, so this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, whatever. No one cares. Just have dinner ready at five. What? The whole Almost ready. Okay. <laughs> Hope everyone's hungry. What is this? It's pork chops. Um, I thought I ordered the Wagyu beef with gold sprinkles. Yeah, this does not look like sushi. Well, yeah, of course not. I mean, I don't know how to make those things. Uh, well, there's no way I'm eating this garbage. Yeah, you know what? On second thought, why don't we go out for food instead? Oh, okay. Um, well, I can go get my coat. Uh, it'll just be a minute. <laughs> You're not coming with us. You can stay here. Oh, wait, uh, no. Yeah, you're staying here and cleaning up this kitchen. It's a mess. Bye. Hey, wait up. Well, at least I made myself some pork chops. Hmm, I wonder where my mom and sister are. I mean, they've been gone a really long time. Hope they come back soon. That was the best sushi I have ever had. I know, and for $100 a piece, so cheap. Hey, there you guys are. How was dinner? Oh, it was lovely. But Britt, what's wrong? Why do you seem sad? Oh, I was just lonely, that's all. Ew, lonely? Get over it. Yes, now here, have $500. This should make you feel better. Oh my gosh, $500? Are you... No, you gotta be kidding. That's a lot of money. Great, now I'm going to bed. Good night, love you girls. Good night, Mom. <laughs> and I'll be taking that. Hey, what the heck? That's not yours. I'll give it back to you if you clean my room. Seriously? Come on in. <gasps> oh my gosh, how did your room get this messy? I don't know, don't care. Now get cleaning. Wake up! <gasps> Is everything okay? <laughs> Everything's okay. The house looks spotless. Even Tiffany's room is clean. Honestly, Mom, I watched her do it. So, like, yeah, it was really all me. <laughs> of course it was, sweetie. This is why I decided to take us on a trip. Oh, my gosh, yay! We haven't gone on a trip in weeks. This is so exciting. Where are we going to go? Tiffany, we're going to Paris. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, Mom! <gasps> Paris! Oh, my gosh, yes, 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 yes! Oh, my goodness, Paris? I've, I've only seen it on TV, and, and this is amazing. We're gonna have so much fun, don't you guys think? Well, uh, you're not coming with us. Wait, what do you mean I'm not going? You know what I think? We should go shopping to celebrate. Yes, I need so many new things for the trip. Woohoo! Um, how about you come shopping with us? You mean it? You want me to come? Of course we do. And, uh, you need new clothes. What's wrong with my clothes? Everything. Let's go! Okay, so... What do you think? Kind of cute, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah, so cute! Shut up, she was asking me. Oh my gosh, yeah, um, so sorry. I'll, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> so? It's simple, but if you like it, fine. Oh my gosh, seriously? Thanks, Mom. I love it. Um, excuse me, store clerk lady. Wow, Tiffany, that's, um, that's quite the 
bit. Hello? I need your help, lady. Oh my gosh, uh, sure, what's up? I hate this color. Does it come in fuchsia? Um, let me see. Yeah, no, so sorry, it doesn't. It's the only color this top comes in. What, seriously? How about we get you something that looks more expensive? This is so stupid, I hate this. I, I hate it here, I hate it and I hate you. Oh, oh dear. Oh my gosh, hey. So sorry for my sister. Oh, yeah, you know, they come in here all the time. She can act really spoiled. But thank you for helping me pick this outfit. And honestly, I really love your store. Oh my gosh, seriously? Thank you. You're a lot nicer than your sister and your mom. <laughs> well, probably because I'm adopted. <laughs> well, that makes sense. You know, why don't you take that outfit for free? Free. Looks great on you. Wait a minute. What? An outfit for free? I can't do that. Think of it as a thank you for being so kind. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really hope you have a good day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course. Now uh, I gotta go check in on my mom and sister. Um, hey, are you guys okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna look so stupid, mom. <laughs> Oh, honey, we'll just go to the Gucci store and get you something else. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you doing in those clothes, Brittany? Mom, look. She's, she's stealing. What? Oh, I'm not stealing. But I didn't buy those for you. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, the sales clerk gave it to me for free as like a thank you gift for being nice. What? No, that's not fair. You got free clothes for being nice? Mom, I want free clothes. I'm confused. I only get free things when I complain. Well, I don't know. Maybe if you two weren't nicer, people could give you things for free. Mom, I said I want free clothes. This is so dumb. You know what? I'm tired of your attitude, Tiffany. Let's go to lunch, Brittany. But Mom, come on, Brittany. Let's go. All right. Wait, no. You can't leave me here. Hey, what about me? This sister thing isn't working out. She is nice. And my mom likes her more than me now. Oh my gosh, that's so brutal. I know, and people are giving her free stuff. Free stuff? Ew! She must be poor too. I know, I thought having a sister would be fun, but this is the worst. Well, why don't you just get rid of her? That's a good idea. <laughs> I know just how to do it too. <laughs> And make sure that all the bread is gluten free. And oh, another thing, my water needs two lemons. Two, understand me? Yes, ma'am, no problem. How about you, miss? Kind of in the mood for a cheeseburger. Is that okay? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you, I think that's it. You're very welcome. And you know what? I'll see if the chef can put some extra cheese on there for you too. Oh my gosh, really? That would be so awesome. Thank you. Of course, I'll put your orders in right away. Hmm, that's really weird. What is? Extra cheese, I mean, people are giving you free stuff all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because I said please and was polite. I don't get it. I don't have to be nice. I want what I want and when I want it. <laughs> well, mom, maybe you should try being nice next time and see if that works. <laughs> that sounds kind of dumb, Brittany. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's worth a shot. Here's your burger. And uh, miss, uh, I'm so sorry, but we're out of that roast duck that you wanted. You said what? You're out? How can you be out? Mom, remember what I just said? Oh, yes, um, that's okay that you're out of most of what I ordered. Um, I'll just do the water with lemon then. I am so sorry once again. Lunch is on me today, ladies. I'll be back with your food in just a bit. Oh my gosh, Brittany, it worked. It, it really worked, I can't believe it. <laughs> See, Mom, I told you, you just have to be nice to people. I'm proud of you, Mom. I can't believe it. You're out to lunch with her and not me, Mom. Oh my gosh, honey, you won't believe it. The wildest thing just happened. We got our lunch for free. Shut up, Mom, I don't care. I wanted to go to lunch with you. There, there, will some money make you feel better? Yes. Now you have to learn to be nice like your sister or else I won't take you to Paris next month. What? No, 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 Mom, I wanna go to Paris. And I wanna eat my cheeseburger right now. Hey, girl. Mom, Christy's here for a sleepover and make sure Brittany doesn't bother us, okay? Well, dear, why don't you just include Brittany with your sleepover? Ew, sorry, no, I don't hang out with 
hurt poor people. Yeah, mom, we don't want to hang out with her. I hate her. Yeah, mom, you don't have to worry. I don't really want to hang out with them. I can just like read in my room or something. No, no, no. Tiffany, you are being spoiled. You will include your sister and that's that. Mom, look, seriously, it's really not a big deal. Do what I say, girls. Okay, love you. Ew, great. Now we have to hang out with this nerd. No, let's just do our own thing. Oh my gosh, yes! Why don't we take your mom's new car for a test drive? Uh, guys, not to butt in, but I really don't think that's a good idea. Mind your business, Brick. Come on. Behind you, girly. I have an idea. Let's get your sister in trouble. Oh my gosh, let's totally do it. Haha, <laughs> perfect. I'll drive. Watch this. Ah, what was that noise? It sounds like it came from outside. I gotta go make sure everything is okay. Hey, girls. Oh my gosh, no! You crashed mom's car! Are you guys okay? <laughs> We're fine. But you're not gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, her brand new car. This is not good, guys! What is going <gasps> My car! It's ruined! Oh my gosh, mom, don't be upset. Brent did this. What the heck? No, I did not! I am so disappointed in you. I just bought this car, and now it's ruined. Mom, no, 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 please, 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 trust me, I, it wasn't me. I don't want to hear it, Missy. You're grounded. Guys, what the heck? You shouldn't have blamed me for this. Well, if you don't like it, then maybe you should just leave. Leave? What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. Fine, but this is only the beginning. Mom, 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 can you please unground Brittany? Why? I thought you hated your new sister. Yeah, I do, but like you said, I should spend some time with her and get to know her. Yes, you should give her a chance. Well, duh. That's why I want to take her to the Gucci store. Perfect. And while you're there, make sure you get those sunglasses I ordered. Perfect. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, so pigs really can fly, huh? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Britt. Cute top. What are you doing, Curly? Uh, I'm reading. Why? What's up? You need to put that book down right now, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> shopping? Yeah, right. I'm grounded, remember? Well, I talked to Mom, and I just want to spend time with you, so we're going. I mean, we're sisters after all, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. Shopping could be fun. Perfect. I'll call the Uber. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe the Uber driver talked to us. Ew. He was just doing his job. But anyway, what in the world are we doing here in Brookhaven? We're going to the Gucci store. Duh. Yay, Gucci. <laughs> uh, Tiffany, there is no Gucci store in Brookhaven. Yes, there is. Come on, let's go. It's right this way. Okay. I'm coming. Jeez, you run really fast. It's right around the corner. It's a pop-up shop. All right, sure. Hold on. No, this isn't a Gucci store. This is the Brookhaven homeless shelter. Yeah, that's right. I lied. <laughs> We're here to drop you off. Wait a minute. Why? Because you're homeless now. <laughs> Funny joke. I'm not homeless. I talked to mom, and we both don't want you in our family anymore. So I'm here to get rid of you. Wait, mom really said that? Yeah, she did. And we never want to see you again, okay? Bye. Wait, what? Tiffany, no, no, no. You, you can't leave me here. Hello? Wait a minute. No, guys. Hey, get back here. You can't leave me here. No. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost and so scared. What am I going to do? I have nowhere to go. And we all know Brookhaven can be a little wild. I got to figure something out. Don't know what. Hey, 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 lady. Uh, can, can you help me, please? Hi. Ah! Oh my gosh, you scared me. Um, yeah, of course I can help you. Are you lost? No, <laughs> but you can help me by giving me all your money. Ah! Oh my gosh. Um, uh, yeah, no, you terrifying child. I said, give me all your money and no one gets hurt. Ah! Ah! Make it a run for it. Get back here, lady. Ah! No, 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 please leave me alone. I said, give me all your money. Ah! Uh, wait a minute. Hey, creep. Get away from my daughter. No, get me money! I said get lost! Take this! Ah! No, 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 lady, no, 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 no. Don't you come back ever! Brittany, my goodness, I'm so glad I found you. What are you doing in Brookhaven? Well, I live here now since you don't want me in the family and kicked me out of the house. What on earth could you be talking about? Tiffany said you didn't want me in the family anymore. She did. What? And she left you in Brookhaven? And then went shopping.
sleeping with our friend? Oh, no, no, no. I promise, Mom. It's the truth. She said it. I don't know what's gotten into her. I never said I wanted you out of our family. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. Now get in the car and let's go home. Okay, Mom. Let's do some shopping before we head home. Oh my gosh, good idea, girl. <gasps> what am I gonna get? Oh no, not these girls again. Oh my gosh, everything is super cute. Yeah, I know. <gasps> Check out that plaid shirt on the table. No, the purple one's amazing. Um, ew, no, it's hideous. Are you stupid or something? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I totally meant that one is so stupid. <laughs> um, uh, the pink shirts over here hanging up are amazing, don't you think? Yeah, girl. <gasps> Love. Oh my gosh, but it's so expensive. And honestly, girl, I don't have the money for it. Well, just put it in your purse and steal it. Oh my gosh, steal? No, that's gross. Well, don't you want to look cool in Paris? Yeah, fine, I guess. Whatever. No, come on, hurry up, let's go. And where do you think you're going? Excuse us, we're leaving. Uh, yeah, we, we were, you're closing, right? <laughs> we're going? You seriously think I didn't hear everything you said? I was standing right there. Ew! Creep! You shouldn't listen to us! Well, I'm calling the police. You're shoplifting. What? What? No! I don't want to be here. This place is awful. You know who I am. I can't sleep in here. Oh, my God. Just shut up! Uh, you're in jail, criminal. This isn't a five-star hotel. I'm not a criminal. Tell that to the judge. You're stuck in here forever, stupid spoiled brat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's got to be here. <gasps> Tiffany! Oh my gosh, what are you two doing here? We paid your bill. We're here to take you home, okay? Here. Oh my gosh, thank you, Mom. Can we go to Starbucks and get some lattes? Absolutely not. We are getting in this car and going right home now. Mom, no, please. I said right now. This is unacceptable. First, you leave your sister in Brookhaven all alone, then you lied to me about it. Uh, yeah? So? And then you get caught shoplifting with your friend! So what? I'm sorry, okay, Mom? No, because sorry is not going to cut it this time. You're not going to Paris. Brittany is. What? You, no! That's not fair! Uh, I'm so mad! Hey, wait, you get over here, young lady! Hello, I'm talking to you! Oh, this is so awkward, but I gotta follow and find out what's happening. Oh. That's not fair, this is so stupid, I can't believe it! I've, I've had enough. I've had enough of your spoiled attitude. That's it. I can't do this. Look, can we all just calm down? Uh, I can't believe this. Brittany, this is all your fault. All my fault? You're the one who left me in Brookhaven. And you were the one caught stealing. I don't care. So what? Um, so what? You can't really be doing that. Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm running away. I'm out of here. Ah! Wait. Whoa. Tiffany! Tiffany, wait up! Gotta find my sister. Where would she be? I can just park and get out, right? Ooh, oh, bad park job. Okay, now, where could she be? <gasps> wait a minute! Hey, Harvey! Hey, buddy old pal! What's going on? Hey, Brett, just chillin'? Oh my gosh, um, can I please ask you something? No. Wait, what? Wait a minute, uh, Harvey, what do you mean, no? Not until you tell me how sick my dance moves are. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Check them out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Those dance moves are uh, really something. But hey, um, can I ask you a question now? I'll take that as a compliment. So yeah. What do you want to ask me? Okay. So you see, I'm looking for my sister and uh, she has an awful attitude. She's wearing like a fur coat and um, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Fur coat, you say? Oh yeah. She's around the corner. She kicked me out of my dumpster. She is mean. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Harvey. Oh, I owe you one. Not at that dumpster. Um. Oh, oh my gosh, Tiffany. Hey, there you are. Can you come home now, please? No, this is my home now. I'm never coming home. Huh. Oh, come on, Tiffany. You and I both know you would never last more than five minutes living in a dumpster. I know. My phone already died and I forgot my phone charger. There's nowhere to plug it in in there. 
Well, will you just come home then? No, absolutely not. Mom hates me, and she loves you more. It's not fair I'm not coming home. Oh, for the love of pineapple, she loves us both exactly the same. All she wants is you to just think of people other than yourself and, I don't know, maybe not steal? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, but it's just really hard. I know, but I actually have an idea on how maybe mom can forgive you. Wait, really? Well, what is it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, but, but now what do I do, what do I do? Oh my gosh, Tiffany! Well, first things first, you need to stop running because it's making me dizzy, but just calm it down, put it on the stove and stir it. Oh, um, okay, I, I think I can do that. Here we go. You've got it. Now just an even stir. I, I think I can, oh, I don't know, I, I can't do this, this is dumb. I pay people to cook for me. You wanna go to Paris now, don't you, miss? Well, yeah. Well, look, you did it. You're right. Girls, I'm home. <gasps> what, what is that smell? I, I smell burning. Oh, nope, no burning here. What is going on? Um, Mom, I just, I wanted to say I'm sorry, so I made you dinner. Hope you like it. I don't believe it. You were thinking of someone other than yourself? This is crazy. I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, it's like no big deal. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, sit down. I'll bring you food. Yeah, Mom, relax. Okay, I got this, right? Here you go. Tell me what you think. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, it tastes burnt and undercooked at the same time. Huh. Oh my gosh, Mom, you hate it. What? No, no, I love it. I mean, I, I hate the taste of this, but I love that you made something for me. That is just so kind of you, you know? Right? Taking some big steps. Mom, does this mean? Yes, we're all going to Paris. I am so alone. My parents abandoned me. They said they were too poor to take care of me, and now here I am on the mean, cold streets of Brookhaven all alone. But you know what? I'll be okay. Maybe, I don't know, I could find like a family to adopt me, or I could just go live at the orphanage. I don't know. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hello there. Uh, how can I help you? You guys look awfully fancy. I mean, look at that woman. She's got a dog in a purse. I love it. What are you doing out here this late? Well, you see, um, my mom and dad, uh, they abandoned me. They said that I was going to be too expensive for them to take care of. So they kicked me out of my house and I'm um, just stuck here all alone. I don't believe it. I know it is kind of awful that my parents just like kicked me out, but it, it's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> I know how to help. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we keep her? Talking about me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, of course, we'll gladly take care of you. I cannot believe my eyes or my ears. Uh, boo, this is insane. Would you like a nice home with us? Would I? That would be so cool. Please, I mean, it would be so much better than living out on the street or in that scary, scary Brookhaven orphanage that they have. Perfect, someone we can spend all our money on. Okay. What exactly do you mean by that? Oh, silly girl. You don't know who we are? No, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. I'm just a kid and I don't really watch the news all that much. We are billionaires. <laughs> billionaires? Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I, I'm trying not to freak out right now. But am I being adopted by billionaires? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Now I'm super excited to join their family. This is awesome. Oh, man, I'm just so bored and lonely. I feel like I've been sitting here for hours. I've just been watching all these Shane Plays 2 videos. <laughs> Guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go check out that channel. You get to see super cool stories about me, Officer Rufus, and Shane. But regardless, even though these stories are awesome and I love this channel, I just really wish my mom and dad were around to hang out with me. They're always gone and I feel like I just, I don't even know them and all I want is to spend time with them. I thought being adopted by a billionaire family would be a little bit more fun. I thought my parents would be around to take care of me, but they're not. They just leave me with my mean babysitter all the time. Maybe 
she'll want to hang out or, or something. Well, let me go find her. Miss oh, oh uh, hi, Miss Jennifer. How are you? Um, why are you crying? I miss my mom and dad, Miss Jennifer. When are they coming home? Why would they want to come back here? Uh, their adopted daughter is here, and uh, I need parents to take care of me. I mean, when are they coming home? Please, please tell me it soon. If I was them, I would be gone even longer. Why? I mean, don't you think they should be home, like, taking care of their child? They're billionaires. Why would they want you? They adopted me, and they, they wanted me because I was poor and alone and sad, so, like... I don't know, shouldn't that be a good enough reason? You're being such a brat. They left you tons of money. Yeah, so what? Money doesn't solve all my sadness. It just makes me feel even worse. Well, what else could you want? Maybe my mom and dad. You just don't get it, Miss Jennifer. You don't get it at all. You're the worst babysitter ever. I just want my family. <laughs> when will my mom and dad come home? <laughs> I don't want to hang out with this mean babysitter anymore. <laughs> I am having the most fun now that I get to go to school all the time. Sure, my parents are still always off on business trips and vacations, but at least I have my school friends to hang out with, right? I mean, I love going to school. I love learning. I love meeting all new people and doing like projects, especially art class. Guys, comment down below. What is your favorite class in school? I live for art class. I'm gonna go meet my friend Rachel upstairs because I told her I would meet her after lunch. And it's after lunch. Oh gosh, I don't want to be late. I don't want to lose my new friend. She's so awesome. Hey, Rachel, what's going on, girlfriend? Hi, Britt. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? How's your day going so far at school? I'm doing great. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How was your lunch? I had the best ham and cheese sandwich to ever exist. What did you eat? Um, actually, can I borrow some money for lunch? Yeah, did your mom forget to give you some? Uh, of course, uh, I don't mind at all. Here, here you go. Now, I think class will start any minute now, so you should probably go run off and buy something. Thanks. Yeah, of course, girl, <laughs> anytime. And uh, you can pay me back later. Of course. Well, maybe we can hang out after, oh. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh, but before I go into class, I should probably wash my hands. Grant is clueless. Wait a minute. Did I just walk in on Rachel talking about me? Oh my gosh. Like she gave me money for lunch. Uh, I, I thought I was doing a nice thing. Uh, I want some too now. She is so lame. Is Rachel really not my real friend? Is she just using me for money? I'm only using her for her money. Oh my gosh, she's not even my real friend? That's awful, I hate this. Does anyone really like me? Or are people just using me because I was adopted by billionaires? I just want someone to really care about me. Oh! Um, hey there, sorry, I, I, I didn't notice you through my tears. Hi, girly, are you okay? Honestly, no, I'm not okay. I've actually just found out my best friend was using me for my money. She thinks I'm actually lame, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to unload all of my problems on you. Well, you're fine. Who was using you? Rachel, I can't believe it. We've been friends for like months and I thought she was a better person than that but apparently not anyway I'm sorry I don't think I caught your name my name's Brittany what's yours I'm Lucy well it's so nice to officially meet you Lucy and again I'm so sorry for just you know being over here crying I just I can't believe that someone would use me just because I have money it's okay girl I'll be here for you you will I mean, I don't want to be like too forward or anything, but do you want to be my friend? Of course, and I won't ask for money. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, Lucy, I'm so excited. <laughs> now, do you want to go back to my house and like 
Watch some TV or something? Oh my gosh, yes! What do you like to watch? Oh girl, I watch everything on TV, but especially Unica. That is my favorite show in the whole world. Let's go! Okay, uh, follow me. I think my driver's here anyway, so they can take us home. <laughs> Lucy, I'm so excited we decided to go to college together and get this super awesome house. I mean, we really worked our butts off for the past few years to afford this. And look, I'm so proud of us. We're living our best life. This place is super cool, right? I love it. I mean, sure, we just moved in, so it'll take some time to decorate, but I think we have some good bones here. I'm super proud of us. Yeah, me too, girl. <laughs> and I'm also just so lucky that we've stayed friends over the years and we're in college together. I mean, could a girl want anything else to beat college roomies with her bestie? I don't think so. And I never asked for money. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, it's the doorbell. Oh my gosh, Lucy, I'm so excited. I think it's my mom. She said that she was coming to visit earlier today. Oh, welcome, mom. Ugh, this is your place. Yeah, you know, the one I told you that Lucy and I were super excited to buy? I mean, we worked super hard for it. Don't you think it's so cool? I love it. Now this is the first floor and then go upstairs. This is our room. So we were able to split it. So I get to sleep over there and Lucy gets to sleep over here. Isn't this so awesome? You could do so much better. Wait, what? Mom, I thought you'd be proud of our new home. This place is ugly. What? Mom, are you for real? This house is really nice. And Lucy and I worked super hard saving our money. I could have given you money for a better house. But mom, I don't want to be given things in life. I work for what I want. Thanks for the offer, but I really like our house. I think it's cute. Well, I don't care. Well, you know what, mom? I honestly don't care. And I think it's kind of rude that you would come into my house and say that it's ugly. We will buy you a new one. But mom, honestly, I think it's time you left because you're not welcome here. I don't want any negativity in this house and clearly you're being negative. Fine, I'll go then. Yeah, it was nice seeing you, mom. You're being a brat. Well, you're being rude, mom. Sorry, Lucy, I genuinely don't know why my mom was acting that way. But whatever, let's go to Home Goods and buy some new decorations for our place. Let's ride. It seems like forever since I've last seen my parents. They were just on this crazy trip all throughout Europe. And then they ended up going and hanging out at the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Super, super cool. But I've missed them. So I decided to come over and give them a little surprise for dinner. I can't wait to see them. I hope they have some cool travel stories. Mom, dad, hello? Hey, mom and dad, I'm home. What's going on? Hi, darling. We just finished our dinner. Oh, uh, great. What did you guys have? We made steak. Can't go wrong with a good steak. Mm-hmm, that is one of my favorite meals. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you're back safe from your trip. How was it? It was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear. Well, I really missed you guys. We've missed you so much. We are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom and Dad. That's really sweet. You worked so hard. I'm so glad to have paid for your school. Yeah, again, I really appreciate that. But hey, Mom and Dad, can I be honest with you for a second? Everything okay? I really appreciate all the things you've done for me and all the things you paid for. You know, it's been really, really great, but honestly, it's not about the money. My whole life, all I've wanted was just to be around you guys. And you know, I just wish you were there for me more emotionally. What? But we gave you so much. Dad, you really did, but all I wanted was just two parents to spend time with me and love me. Sure, we did some amazing vacations and things like that, but it's not about all the money. It's just about being with you. Oh dear, we're so sorry. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> at least now I get to be honest with you, right? Yes, let's all be honest with each other from now on. 
Sounds good to me. Well, I love you, Mom and Dad. You're the best parents ever. And I'll always be grateful that you adopted me that day. I cannot thank you enough. Great. Of course. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you later. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and dad. <laughs> Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys soon. I am so excited because today I am meeting my new adopted family and I am so looking forward to it. But before we get any further, you guys need to make sure that you are subscribed to Shane and I's new channel, Shane Plays 2. You can learn all about me, Officer Rufus, and Shane. The link will be in the description below. Now go follow it. But anyway, I am so excited to meet my new family. We are up on Eagle View and we can see the entire city of Brookhaven from here. Look how magical. But, all right, let's go meet my new family. Ding dong! Ah, I hope they like me. Oh, come on in. Hello, new mom and dad. How are you? My name's Brittany. Guys, look how fabulous they are. Is my mom wearing a crown? <gasps> Am I being adopted by a royal family? Oh my goodness! It's great to finally meet you. The pleasure is all mine. I'm so happy to be here and thank you so much again for adopting me. I've always wanted two daughters. Does that mean you're also adopting someone else? No. Here, meet your new sister. She's gonna be excited to meet you. I've always wanted a sister. This is so exciting. Rose, come down and meet Britt. Here, father. Hi, Rose. Um, I'm your new sister, Brittany. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Rose, you're excited to finally have that sister you've wanted, right? Yeah, what is? I'm busy playing Among Us. Gotta go. Oh, okay. Well, luckily we'll have a whole lifetime to get to know each other, right? <laughs> oh, Britt, I'm so sorry for her behavior. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was kind of weird. I thought she'd be excited to meet me. Like, I was super excited to meet her. She was probably just nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could go nervous, right guys? So, would you like a tour of your new home? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. It's absolutely beautiful here and I can't wait to see it. All right, follow me. Perfect. <gasps> I'm so excited to be a part of this family. Brittany, you snored all night. It was like super loud and annoying and I didn't sleep. Oh my gosh, I I'm so sorry, Rose. I didn't mean it. It's usually not something I do. Uh, I must have just had a stuffy nose or something. I'm so sorry. Yeah, whatever. Don't do it again. Well, I didn't do it on purpose, so I'll try my best. <laughs> Girls, I have exciting news. You do? What is it, Mom? Is it that Brit is leaving us for a new family? Hey, that would not be exciting news. That would be like really sad. I just got to this family. It's a surprise. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love surprises. Surprises are so, so, so awesome. Pack your bags, girls. We're going on a vacation. <gasps> Rose, did you hear that? We're going on a vacation. Woo! There's a limo waiting just outside. I've never driven in a limo before. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, this is gonna be real fun. Well, I think it's time to board the plane. Should we go? Should we go grab our seats? Oh my gosh, ah, I'm so excited. Yeah, come on. I'll follow you since you are the pro at flying. Here we go, we're boarding the plane. Whoa, it's so cool in here. We have like our own private jet. Mom and dad seriously hooked us up on this. Yeah, I use this a lot. That's super cool. All right, well, I guess I'll put my luggage over here and uh, I'll take a seat. Ooh, I think the engine is starting. Ah, stop! Rose, what's going on? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Someone help! Help, this girl is hurting me! Oh, excuse me, is everything okay? No, I don't know why she's yelling. I'm really not doing anything. No, sir, this girl is hurting me. No, 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 look, I promise I would never hurt her. She's my sister. I don't know who she is. What is going on? Why are you acting this way? Miss, I'm sorry. We can't have people causing commotion on the plane. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. No, that's not fair. I wasn't doing anything. Sorry, miss. Rules are rules. Ha, huh, later, loser. Fine. I'll get off the plane. Enjoy your vacation, Rose. This is awful. I didn't do anything wrong. 
I'm gonna have to tell my mom and dad about this. It has been a few weeks since I was kicked off the plane from Rose and honestly, things are not getting better here. I thought being adopted by a royal family would be like super fun and my parents are really nice but Rose is Awful. She makes me do all her chores. It's really, really hard. I'm trying to get along with her, but it's just, it's not working out. Oh, there she is. Hey, Rose. Are you done with your chores yet? No, I'm not done with my chores. Since I had to take over yours, there's like a million more I have to do, so no. Well, hurry up. Dad will be home soon. I would be done if you could at least like help me. I mean, why can't you at least do your own laundry? Be quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion, mop maid. <gasps> You're so rude. Well, whatever. Can you just leave me alone? I have plenty of chores that I need to do and standing here arguing with you is not going to help me get them done any faster. Make me food. I'm hungry. Rose, why can't you make yourself food? We're the same age and if I know how to cook, I'm sure you do too. Now! No, I'm not making you any food. I am going to go upstairs and grab your laundry that has to be done before dad gets home. Oh, but while I'm up here, I should probably just vacuum a little bit. Oh my gosh, Um, what is going on? The house is on fire. This is not good. Oh my gosh. Rose, are you okay? Hello, Rose, we need to get out of here fast. Come on, it's not safe to be in here right now. Our house is on fire. All because you wanted to cook something and you couldn't wait until mom and dad got home. No, this is all your fault. You could have cooked for me. No, this is not my fault. I would have never set the house on fire. Oh, you're so annoying. I can't believe you did this. Mom and dad are gonna be so upset. Girls. Dad, I'm so glad you're here. Brittany lit the house on fire. Is everything okay? It, it was Rose, not me. It's all her fault. Brittany, you did this? How could you? No, 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 trust me. I didn't light the house on fire. It was all Rose, and now she's just trying to blame it on me. You're going to be in a lot of trouble, little lady. Dad, please. I didn't do it. So I'm really happy that the fire didn't cause all that much damage to the house. Sure, it's been like a month or two of renovation in the house, but it looks like everything is back to normal and my mom and dad aren't as mad at me as I thought they would be. I still can't believe that Rose totally blamed it on me though. Like, who does that? I need to find a way to prove to my parents that she is awful and she's been so mean. I don't like to tell on people, but I feel like she is really taking it to the next level so I thought to myself she'll be home any minute and what if I hide like a secret camera in the room and take footage of how awful she is to me because she's always mean to me and that way I can like send it to my phone and show my mom and dad later where should I hide the camera so it won't be so crazy obvious for Rose maybe in the bush over here okay so now I I'm just gonna sit here and chill and wait for her to come on home. There she is. Hey, what's going on, Rose? Oh, hey, loser. Loser? Rose, could you like for once not be mean to me? Being mean is so fun. You are the worst. No, you're the worst. I don't understand why you hate me so much. What did I ever do to you? We're sisters. We're supposed to get along. I don't want you as a sister. Never call me your sister. Rose, come on, that's what we are. We're sisters whether you like it or not. I'm a part of your family, so we need to learn how to get along. No, my family hates you and we will never like you. Don't say that, that's super hurtful. You're a loser, you're ugly, you're lame. You're mean, and I don't know why you have to treat me this way. Because I don't like you, loser. You're just awful. Why can't you just leave me alone? Whatevs, bye. I think that's like the worst she's ever been to me. I'm kind of glad I caught it on camera so our mom and dad can know just how awful she truly is. Okay, so I do feel bad that I recorded my sister behind her back, but my parents need to know just what exactly she's up to. And she's up to no good. She's kind of like low-key evil. So, all right, I'm gonna show my parents the cell phone footage of just exactly what Rose has been up to. Hey, mom, dad, um, I have something I need to show you. Of course, dear, 
What is it? Promise not to get mad, but I have some very important footage that you need to see, okay? Let me just pull it up on my phone real quick. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, I'm really, really sorry, but I can't believe my eyes. I know, I know, I really feel bad, like, telling on Rose, but she really has been up to no good. Brittany, we're so sorry. That's okay. Now you understand why Rose and I just can't really get along. Rose, come here immediately. You have a lot of explaining to do. I have nothing to explain. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you do. You've been so mean to me, and I finally showed mom and dad on film. We cannot believe you. It's not right to act this way. Well, I don't like Britney, and I'm the princess. Wow, <laughs> well, at least she finally admitted it. I can do what I want. Excuse me. Not with such unacceptable behavior, you're not. You're going to boarding school. Ugh, you guys are the worst. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just really wanted you to know just exactly how Rose has been treating me. My gosh, it's okay. We're sorry, Brittany. Well, I appreciate it, and thank you for listening to me. To lighten the mood, I do happen to have a little surprise for you. Oh my gosh, really? A gift? This is fantastic. Oh my goodness, my very own tiara. Mom, Dad, it's absolutely beautiful. It matches my outfit. I love it. Thank you so much. You are officially a member of this family, Princess Brit. Thanks, Mom and Dad. This is awesome. I can't wait to show all my friends at school my beautiful new tiara. Being adopted by a royal family is super cool. Hello everyone, welcome back. We are hanging out today in Bloxburg and I am so excited because you may have noticed I'm, I'm small. Look at me, I am a kid size. And that is because for the first time ever, I have been adopted and by uh, maybe some of the richest parents in Bloxburg. I'm so excited. They seem like the nicest family ever and I've never been adopted before. So I'm really, really happy to see how this goes. I mean, look at this place. It might be because I'm small, but I also think this place is huge. Look at it. I mean, come on. There is a crazy big old fountain, a carport, and look at this place is amazing. But I am so excited to introduce y'all to my parents. They are so, so nice. And I hope you like them as much as I do. Hello, mom, dad, I'm home. I mean, I live here now, so I, I can just go in, right? Hey, mom, dad. Mr. Wincrest, Mrs. Wincrest, hello. It's me, your daughter. I'm home, hello. Daughter, not right now. Adults are talking. Is everything okay? Go play somewhere. This doesn't seem good. My, my parents seem kind of aggravated and they want me to leave. Okay, I, I guess I can go like in the backyard or something. She says, everything is all right. We're just busy talking. All right, I'll leave you guys to it because it, it might be something really important that maybe me as a little kid can't hear. Yeah, <gasps> shoot, go away. Oh, okay, I'll be outside. Just, you know, hanging by myself. I, I wonder what they're talking about. It seems really weird that they just kind of like shooed me away, but that's fine. They're just having an adult talk right now. But you know what? I'm gonna make the best of it because look at this backyard. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Maybe I could pretend I'm camping or ooh, maybe I'll play like cruise ship because this place looks like a bougie, bougie boat or something. I don't know. But wait, what are they saying? Why did you bother getting her? It was a deal? Oh, I can't believe this. I'll handle her later? Guys, um, do you think they're talking about me? No, 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 that can't be. That doesn't make any sense. They're my mom and dad. They're supposed to love me and not talk badly about me. He says, I doubt it, but I suppose you can do something. This is weird, guys. I, I don't know what's going on, but my parents are not acting normal. They didn't seem happy to see me, and now they're talking about me in the chat and saying that I was a deal? Uh, I don't really understand. Understand. What is going on here? Oh wait, my mom's yelling at me, Brit. Yes, mom, you got dirt all over you? Yeah, I I'm sorry. I was just jumping around. I, I didn't mean to make a mess, but it kind of happens when you're playing outside sometimes. Go bathe in the sprinklers. <gasps> mom. 
Um, no, that's weird. I mean, if you're not gonna let me back in the house, I guess I'll go bathe in the sprinklers. Animals are dirty like that? <gasps> Guys, is my mom calling me an animal? You can sleep outside. Whoa, why is she being so mean? But mom, no, please. Why can't I clean up inside? She literally is like kicking me out of the house because I got a little speck of dirt on me. I don't wanna hear it. Clean up and don't come back inside till you're sparkle clean. Fine. Uh I guess I'll do my best. I didn't think she would get this mad at just a little bit of dirt, but I don't know. Uh, also, no dinner for you tonight? No, oh my gosh, but seriously? You can eat outside if you don't like it? <gasps> Guys, my mom is being like next level rude. I don't really understand. Fine, I'll just eat some bugs or, or something. Who would have thought that my mom would adopt me and make me like live out in the backyard? I mean, I might as well make the best of it, right? I'll sit here and I'll, I'll look at the stars. Yeah, uh, that sounds fun. I'm just still sitting out here, you know, hoping and praying that maybe my mom can let me back in the house at some point. I mean, it would be nice. I keep hearing all these scary noises and what if there are monsters out here or coyotes or wolves? I could be eaten alive here, people, and that is not good. And you know what else is not good? I noticed that some of you are not subscribed to my channel, so you gotta make sure you do that right this second. Turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything I post and leave a like on the video because I, I need some help here, people. I, I need to make sure I can live out here in the wilderness all by myself. Oh, wait, my <gasps> mom said, oh, you're still out here? Yeah, just hanging by myself. You know, because you, you kicked me out and you didn't let me come in. I see that you're cleaner. Yeah, I took a bath in the pool. Please don't be mad. I had to do my best to try to clean because there's no shower outside. I said, well, I gave some thought and I've decided to let you back in. Yay! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Thank you, mom. But, uh-oh, uh-oh. said, you must behave. Oh my gosh, yes. I promise, mom. I promise to never run around outside and make a mess again. I said, do anything to make me upset and it'll be the streets for you? That sounds awful. I don't want to get kicked out on the street and be homeless. I promise to behave. I'm so sorry I upset you earlier. I really, really didn't mean it. I'm a kid after all, so I'm learning, all right? <laughs> Said whatever, just come inside, child. Okay, after you, mom, I will follow you. Do, do, do. What can I do, mom? Can I watch some TV? Said, well, I suppose I can show you to your room. <gasps> yes, 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 please, please, please. I have been dying to see my new bedroom. I am so excited. I bet it's gonna be so pretty pretty and nice and decorated perfectly like the rest of this house. I'm so excited, mom. Open the door, open the door, open the door, please. Come on, I am ready to see my room. Oh, um, here we go. It's kind of dark and empty. I mean, I don't see anything in here. Uh, this is kind of weird. What am I supposed to do? You can pick a corner and sleep there for the night? <gasps> that is not really nice. I just have to sleep on the floor in a corner. What is that? That is not okay. So this is the perfect base for you to work? Work? Um, I'm confused here. What do you mean? I'll tell you later, but you need to fill up your own room with stuff. The only way to do that is to get a co-owner. So I'll ask her, can I get co-owner? That, that's the only way I can get stuff in here, right? Oh, uh, that's kind of iffy. Mom, I mean, you want me to do this all on my own and that's the only way to do it. I promise not to spend too much money. Actually, just go ask your father. Father. All right, hopefully he'll say yes. Um, where is he, by the way? <laughs> Let me ask, where is dad? He's playing the piano. You have two legs, go find him. Yikes, uh, okay, mom, sounds good. If I was a piano in a big old fancy house, where would I be? Oh, oh, right over there, perfect. <laughs> um, hi, dad, sorry to interrupt. Are you busy? So what do you want, child? I'm practicing. Um, mom wanted me to ask if I can get co-owner. I need to 
decorate my house. Uh, not my house, just my bedroom. E but you know what I mean, Dad, right? Said, oh, fine, if you leave me alone, I'll give you co-owner. Yay, okay, uh, sounds good. I I'll leave you to it, Dad, Um, but uh, I I'll run over here so that way he can give me co-owner and uh, I, I can start building my room, I guess. That took some time, but I am done building my little room. I know it's not much, but uh, I didn't want to go too crazy. Okay, so I have a cute little bed over here. Perfect for sleeping. I am excited. And I got a little bookshelf with all my toys and, you know, some books, because it is a bookshelf after all, people. And I had a little surprise. My parents were acting kind of weird, so I decided just to put in some security cameras because I need to see what they're up to. They're being kind of shady. So actually, let's take a look on the computer and see what they're up to now. She isn't ready. Guys, I think they're talking about me. I feel kind of bad spying, but these parents of mine are acting a little strange and I just gotta see what's going on. So, but please, I know she is. We toughened her up. Um, what? What are they talking about? Not enough. If we're gonna go with the plan, we need to cooperate. Wait. What? What plan? I know, I just feel bad sometimes. You can't be weak. We need to bring her in when she's ready so we can get more of the money. Oh my gosh, my parents I think are scammers. Maybe that's how they can afford this massive house. I don't know if I want to watch anymore. I thought they were good people and I don't know if they are anymore. Uh oh, my mom says, all right, I'll go check on her. I'll come along. Yikes! Oh, this isn't good. Um, uh, guys, I gotta get off my computer. Um, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm gonna just shut my door real quick up and get into position. Pretend I'm just being, you know, a normal kid and I'm, I'm gonna read a book and la la la, minding my own business and <gasps> there they are. Hello there, child. Hi, Dad. Um, what's going on? Hey, daughter, what you doing there? Oh, you know, uh, just doing some reading. The reading, also your room looks livable. <gasps> hey, I think my room looks nice. Guys, comment down below. You like this room, right? It's not too bad. Sure, it's not my best work, but I was stressed here. What are you guys up to? Did you want to talk to me or something? I mean, why are you both in my room? We came here to talk to you about something? Guys, I have to act surprised as if I don't know that they were talking about me before. Okay, what is going on? Okay, the reason why we adopted you? Yeah, oh, what is it? Well, we need more money and we need your help. <gasps> Do you think that they want me to scam with them? Wait, how can I help? So we've used certain tricks to get more money? <laughs> like scamming, I knew it, I had a feeling. Oh no, 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 but I gotta play along. Really? Like what? We'll talk more over dinner, but we just wanted to let you know. Sounds good to me. I mean, it doesn't sound good to me, but I gotta play along here, people. Hope you join us. Wouldn't like if you didn't. <gasps> I hope they're talking about dinner and not the scam. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I am really, really nervous. What do you think the plan is that they want me in on? I gotta expose them. My adopted parents are scammers. This is awful. Okay, I think it's time to join my parents for dinner and I've been thinking maybe I can just have them admit that they're scammers and that'll be enough proof, right? Maybe this will work or maybe it won't, but it's worth a shot. I'm really anxious about this. They seem like next level criminals, but maybe I can just get them to confess. Hi mom and dad, what's for dinner? I mean, technically it, it should be breakfast because it's 6 a.m., but hey, you know, I I'm just a part of your life. We're going along with the flow here, people. This is a meeting, not a dinner. A meeting to talk about your future? Oh, okay, how can I be the best kid ever? You wanna go first? Sure. Mom, uh, what do you have to say? Basically, daughter, we're in a certain business. A business that most folks aren't a fan of. Oh, really? Like what? Maybe they're in a, I don't know, the homework business and they make teachers assign homework. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, no. Brittany, come on. You know they're scammers. So why are you even being freaked out? You know what's happening here. We just have to expose it. We show people a new car or tell them about a new car, but it isn't real. <gasps> so they give us their money. They're really admitting it though. This is 
crazy. And then we leave them in the dirt? <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So you're like real life scammers? Let's see, are they gonna admit it? They seem awfully proud of what they're doing. More like taking an opportunity of the situation? Uh, no, 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 no. This sounds like a scam to me. But my dad's agreeing. He's saying, yes, we are scammers. Wow, that's crazy. Your mother is sugarcoating it? Well, yeah, she does kind of seem like the nicer one out of the two of you, but I... I'm like shocked, guys. They are truly admitting that they're scammers right now. Join us and we'll make so much money. Join or else? You know what? Mm -mm. Guys, I think I've had enough here. I can't believe it. They truly admitted to scamming. No, I don't think I can. I can't scam people. That's awful. I just don't think I can be a part of this evil plan. Then you leave us with no other choice? What is it? They're saying you know too much? We must lock you up for good? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. This is not happening. Guys, I am out of here. I can't believe it. My adopted parents are scammers. I gotta go tell Officer Rufus or at least get out of here before they catch me. Oh, no. Wish me luck. This is insane.